What's up guys, it's your boy Rum 300 I'm back again with another fragrance review. Just for you guys, I hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are well. And um, I know this is a crazy time for everyone. Once again, I want to send my condolences out to anybody that's lost a loved one. Anyone that's sick, um, my prayers with you. And you guys know that we will get through this with faith, prayer, belief, and most importantly, common sense. With that said, I got another special fragrance review for you guys. And the theme for this is special. When I tell you this is a special, special fragrance, I truly mean it. This fragrance is the epitome of special. And that is Clive Christian. You have seen the title, you've seen the introduction. This is Clive Christian Cypress. Oh man, you've seen this fragrance um, in my uh, new fragrance uh, purchases list and I think the Christmas list. But I haven't done a review on it because I wanted to give it a little bit more time, a little bit more wearing. And now that I've worn this probably 10 times already, I'm definitely gonna give you guys an in-depth review on this fragrance. We're gonna start off with this fragrance was created um, late 2018, so it's a fairly new fragrance in their lineup. This is a woody fougere aromatic fragrance. If you can kind of understand how that goes, I'm gonna break that down to you, because you usually get a uh, woody aromatic or fougere, never really the three, but with this fragrance, it's very simple in its, uh, in its note breakdown, but this is literally, I said it last year and I'll say it again, this is my favorite purchase or favorite find of 2019. I, man, when I smell this, I got this in, um, I don't know if you can see it, but the it's a collection, it's back there, it's yellow. It's a travel atomizer uh, discovery, so I got it in that. Smelled all the four fragrances, came in there, and this one blew my mind. And the reason why, you guys, it's something different, but also something familiar at the same time. Different in the sense that they took this Fougere fragrance and made it wearable in either the summer, spring, and fall. Um, and you know, I typically like those barbershop style fragrances. I, I typically love them actually. They're one of my favorite types of fragrances. And I don't normally like fresh fragrances, those citrusy, soapy, bright fragrances. I'm not too, I'm not against them, but those aren't the ones that I'm very attracted to or I, I lean towards. But this one kind of combined both of those into one package. And um, that's why I really enjoyed it. I'm not gonna go too far, I'm gonna show you the note breakdown and then I'm gonna give you uh, an idea of what I'm talking about. All right, so that was a note breakdown. Um, the main player in this fragrance to me is the Cypress and there's an accord that's not in here but I smell it, it's somewhere deep in there. It's a lavender uh, note. Now, lavender is not in the note breakdown, obviously it's not, but there is a Fuji barbershop type smell. Now, when you first spray this fragrance, open up so you can see the bottle. When you spray this fragrance first, you're gonna get a uh, blast of this pedigree. Now, this is going to be a kind of sour, it's gonna be kind of tart, but it's also gonna be kind of sweet. This is kind of neroli kind of smell, sweetness, but citrusy and very sour. That's what you get in the opening. That develops into almost a, uh, a slightly pedigree, bergamot, neroli kind of a mixture, and that tart, sour note is what brightens the fragrance up. It is very, very different, but it's inviting. 
I typically don't like those fresh fragrances, but this one that had that sweet neroli kind of uh, smell to it that made the brightness and the, the tartiness uh, a little bit more uh, enjoy and then a little bit more of an enjoyable factor in the fragrance. Immediately met behind that, you're gonna get this kind of the, 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 the cypress jumps in there. Now you get this kind of forest-like pine needle uh, effect. Met with that almost immediately, that is when I smell the pine and lavender kind of mesh together and it is the, probably the most enjoyable part of this fragrance for me. Middle of the fragrance. In the middle of the fragrance is going to come not as quick, but that pedigree, that that lavender, I mean, that pedigree, that, that citrus, uh, uh, neroli smell, it's gonna be there probably about a half hour, and it doesn't last very long, it doesn't die completely, it stays in maybe about 30%, but then you get that cypress. The cypress is, like I said, forest, pine, lavender, the sweetness is still there in the, the lavender part, and, it has that almost that, uh, a faint shaving cream effect. And for me, this is just, it immediately just made me think, oh, this is special, this is a special fragrance. I've never smelled anything like this. Clive Christian is very traditional, very uh, kind of old school when they come to how they make their fragrances. They're very safe, whenever. it's elegant, they're beautiful fragrances, but they're very, um, um, they're not gonna, say oh this is just something left field the only thing that's left field that I've seen them come out with is um, the I can't remember the, the theme vision of a dream is one of the fragrances that are in that category I think it's um, addictive arts or something like that that line is very um, not Clive Christian and if this was in there I could expect that but this for this to be in that regular line um, I was truly surprised about that. Uh, the fragrance kind of develops more uh, towards the forest pine note. Gets a little heavier instead of dying down towards the dry down. You still get that pine cypress kind of feel. You still have the lavender. The lavender is a little bit subdued at this point. And then the dry down has this amber sappiness it gets a little bit thicker this is why I said you can wear this in the fall too so this is now you have the spring with the the pedigree you have the summer with the lavender and the cypress and then you go to the early part of the fall that dry amber almost with the sappy syrupy like amber and it's not like they put a lot it's like they put about two drops of that in there just to give it a little bit of muscle just to give it a little bit of uh, masculinity and it complements that whole uh, experience like you went to a barbershop but they this particular barbershop wanted to do something different and they spritzed you with some type of amber uh, when you got up out of the chair from a shave or maybe a, a, a haircut and man when I tell you special this fragrance will only be worn on special occasions only be one. And it is not only because it's Cloud Christian, not only because it's $550, it's two reasons. One is silly, is because I can't ever tell how much is in this damn bottle because it's completely black. You can't tell. I don't know what's, where the level is. So I'm afraid to spray it a lot because I'm not going to buy another one in the next two, three years. The second reason is because there is nothing like this that I've smelled in the Cloud Christian lineup, in any other fragrance lineup that I can come off the top of my head. This is truly unique in its own, truly one that you guys should definitely check out. Um, the last two things I'm gonna bring up about this fragrance is this is something that if you are a, just a, a connoisseur of fragrances, you want something in a collection that's going to be unique, check it out. Second thing is, this fragrance is very close to the skin. It's not gonna project very large, it's not gonna project very heavily, 
is going to be roughly a half an arm length of projection and the sea eyes is going to be a small circumference of a circle and unless you're in my space you're not going to smell it i i smell it i give this fragrance somewhere around six and a half seven hours and longevity not very long that's okay because that six seven hours the fragrance is very kind of uh, uh potent for at least two to three hours consistently and that is fine me it dies down about 50 40 percent and stays at that level for the rest of the fragrance and i'm cool with that so those are the the the, the beautiful things about this special fragrance uh cloud christian cypress if you want to know what collection this is in, this is in the Noble Collection. Guys, check this out, ladies. If you're looking for a special fragrance for your man, check it out. I'm not going to say a woman this, but I do think this is leaning more towards the masculine side, in my opinion. But by all means, do what makes you feel good. All right, guys, I'm not going to talk too much. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Go check it out. Go check out Cloud Christian's uh, Noble Collection, especially Cypress. You won't regret it. I truly appreciate you guys watching. Please do me a favor, hit that bell icon. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Also comment and subscribe. I want to get more subscribers. I want to introduce more people to these beautiful fragrances. All right. Until you did, like I always say, it's okay if you want to smell like rum. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Peace.